in a magnet, the energies all line up and face the same way. When you become sexual and do the dance that starts in your hormones, your whole body lines up in one direction. When you and another individual are lined up, you are like the North and South Poles. Your body turns into a magnet. When you and another individual achieve a heightened state of electromagnetic force, you pull on one another and create a balance between each other. When you get really good at this, you will not even have to touch each other. You can create this web of love between you, and it is through this force field that your inner bodies arise and go into other worlds. We think sexuality is one of the most exciting gifts you have been given, and we want to guide you further along this journey so that you can have a better time on Earth. Love yourself and love Earth because they are one and the same, and that means every part of your body you need to talk about sex, make a commitment to accept every area of your body, and to draw a partner to yourself who will honor every area of your body. Know that your partner will be wanting and willing to pioneer this glorious part of your God-Goddess force. You inherit the blueprint of every person with whom you have sex, so you have not only your own stuff to deal with, but theirs as well. When your body comes together with another's, your chakras are stirred and your kundalini is moved. If your kundalini is only moved into your lower two chakras and it is not a full body infusion, you can have hooks into the other person's auric field and they can have hooks into yours. This is why it is important to be very selective about who you are going to have sex with. Make sure if you are going to go for it, that you have some kind of bond and commitment and that you plan on working things out. Because in this day of accelerated time and sped up energy, you can take on everything from someone else. Sex is wonderful. It is absolutely one of the most glorious gifts that you have as a human being to discover your identity. However, you must learn how to use it. No one has educated you on the ramifications of the energy link that comes from having sex with people. You may want to do a number of ceremonies or rituals with the intention of releasing people's energy from your field. Smudging is a very good ritual to clear your energy field. Churches all use it. Many institutions use incense or smoke of some kind to clear energy. Smoke is multidimensional. When you smudge, it is an indication you are taking a step to cleanse, clear, and release the energy so that there are no attachments. You may want to smudge your body and smudge your home. If you are a man, when you have sex, you can learn to retain the sperm and not ejaculate. There are certain techniques to do this. Pressing on the perineum, the small area between the anus and the scrotum, holds the life force inside the body, and the orgasm changes. Humans have been tricked into having genital orgasms, which are localized experiences, rather than full-body cosmic experiences. If you think about how many bodies you are, you will realize that you can experience orgasm in all of these bodies. So as you reconsider and redefine how you are pleasured, you begin to experience different ways of receiving pleasure, and you move out of the locality of the genital area. There is also tremendous excitement that can come from looking into each other's eyes, exchanging the strands of DNA. This is the heart connection into the eyes of the soul, the heart of the soul. Of course you can close your eyes, however, a tremendous amount of eye contact changes the experience. You may also wish to work with your chakras, touching especially each other's heart chakras. Put your hand on the heart chakra of your partner and keep your hearts open. Perhaps you can change your focus during intercourse to not reach climax immediately. Have fun and build to the point just before climax, then hold that frequency subside to a point, and build it again and again. Take some time with it. 
When you honor the process, spending hours doing so, because this creates a deep intimacy and the experience will last you so much longer. The rejuvenation or regeneration of the life force occurs when there are hours and hours of intimacy with your eyes open and you learning to get your body to do what you want it to do. An orgasm is not a local event. There are people who can have their ears tickled and have orgasms. There are people who can have their wrists tickled and have orgasms. You can have orgasms when you dream. You can have orgasms when you are out of your body. The orgasm is misunderstood. You think it is a local event of the genital area. It is not. It is a cosmic event that has been interpreted to be localized so that you would miss the point. It is an ongoing pulsation of godhood and goddesshood, of pleasure and of connecting to the pulse of existence. So it can occur anywhere. If you were really tuned in to your sexuality, taking a bite of delicious food could send an orgasm through you if you were that free. It is the height of appreciating the divinity in all things. There is nothing wrong with masturbation. It is a fine practice if you learn to honor your body and the rightness of stimulating certain feelings within your body. Masturbate without projection, without shame, and without dragging varieties of unknowns into your body through thought. It is tricky, like everything. It is a fine art form, but it is not to be practiced solely as a form of release. If you are using masturbation to release tension, then you need to reconsider. If you have never masturbated, then how can you expect to have sex with someone else and expect them to know your body when you don't know it yourself? Sexuality will take on a whole different value and become one of the most important forces discussed as earth changes become more pronounced. As your society disintegrates, you will want to reevaluate everything. You will want to be close, to be committed, and to have a partner you can count on. As you become aware of life extension and understand about everything speeding up, you will eventually experience great movements of rejuvenation. The partners that you choose will be partners you know and have known for tens of thousands of years. If you are female, you can help your male partner open up by accepting yourself and your own body and by creating for yourself a standard about the kind of man you are available for. You will magnetize this kind of man because he will be willing to learn and change. The male vibrations, in general, are very confused at this time, not knowing for certain what their identity is. They are going to find out that they need to draw to themselves those who will integrate them into these changes. The more you can be stabilized in your love for your body and in your willingness to know what you want and what your intentions are, the easier it will be for men. One of the big taboos in your society has been oral sex. We've said that woman's substance of power is blood, while the substance of power for men is sperm. Sperm carries a tremendous amount of data, while blood can be likened to an elixir of healing, a source of life. Both offer revitalization and rejuvenation. When you share these substances while in a bonded, loving relationship, it is the ultimate in sharing your secret power. It is the ultimate in blending in your identities so that you can remember who you are and why, in this lifetime, you have come together. When you ingest these substances, you create a very deep bonding. It is like drinking or infusing the secrets and some total of the individuals from whom they came. Again, we will state here that without the ingredient of love, you will never reach this exalted state of achievement. We suggest that couples who have sex have an intention around their sexual activity. This does not take the spontaneity out of it. It does not mean that you have to get organized and structured and make appointments and have all of this processing before you come together. 